Hello all, welcome to Selenium Python training series. In this session, as part of Selenium WebDriver, I am going to practically demonstrate how to handle the calendar type 6. So let's get started. In the previous sessions, I've shown you how to automate calendar type 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. In this session, the last type of calendar that I'm going to show you how to automate, that is calendar type 6. So let's get started. Here is an example page URL where we can find this calendar type 6. Copy this URL and uh, open this in the browser so that you can see. So let's go to that page and uh, we need to click on the last one. You see, sixth date. The calendar related to sixth date. I'm doing this manually first, okay? If I click inside sixth date, you see, calendar is not coming. But in other calendars, you see, the calendars are coming when I click inside the fields, right? When I click inside the fields, the calendars are coming. But in this case of sixth date, the calendar is not coming. So using Selenium Python automation also, if I try to click inside the field, it's not going to come. Then how to get the calendar in this case? In another type of calendar, what I have to do is I have to click on this calendar icon. If this inside the field, if the calendar is not coming, then the next option for this is to click on this calendar icon that is uh, beside this field. Now you're getting the calendar. Now, whatever the date you select, right? For example, if I select uh, uh, 28th uh, March, today's date, when I'm recording this uh, session, it's today, 28th March, 2023, right? Let's select that, you see, the date is getting added here, okay? This is what I want to automate. The only thing that you feel difference in this calendar type is that uh, if you click inside the field, the calendar is not going to come. You have to click in, click on this calendar icon, okay? That's the only thing that uh, that is kind of different in this particular calendar. I'll copy this URL and uh, switch to this PyCharm ID where some sample Selenium Python code is already written for opening the Chrome browser for maximizing the browser window. And here we are going to open the application URL. Once the application URL is open, then what I have to do? If I click here, the calendar is not going to come. Rather, I have to click on this icon. So I'll inspect this icon. When inspect that icon, this is the HTML code. So image, class, some classes there, I'll, I'll take this class class locator for locating this uh, calendar icon that I need to click. So I'll simply write down driver.find element by dot class name, give the class locator and say simply dot click. I'm directly clicking on the calendar icon. Once the calendar icon is clicked, calendar will come. But I have to wait until this calendar comes. Okay, Selenium won't wait by default, but I have to make Selenium wait for this calendar to be appeared on the page because this is happening because of the Ajax calls. So Ajax calls are going on and there may be some times where this calendar may come with a delay and Selenium won't wait for that. So let's wait for the calendar to be appeared on the page. Let me inspect this calendar. And uh, this is a due section, header section is coming. Just go up, still go up. You see, entire calendar is getting located when I hover the mouse on this due section. It is an ID, copy this ID of the calendar and uh, I'll wait for that particular ID of the calendar, okay? So for that, I'll write web driver wait and here I'll pass driver comma maximum 10 seconds or 30, whatever you can give, that's okay, no problem. Wait is equal to wait dot until expected conditions dot visibility of element located. Again, provide circular brackets in the type by dot, by dot, what is that? Uh, class, what is there here? ID is there, okay, I have to give ID, okay? Let's give ID, by dot ID, I have to say, by dot ID, and give the ID, double quotes, give the ID. That's it. We are waiting for the calendar calendar to get displayed on the page. Once the calendar gets displayed on the page, what I would do? I don't want to do anything else. I just want to select this uh, today's date. That is 28th March, 2023, I want to select. So anyhow, March, 2023, today, uh, current month and current year are already there. I don't have to change them. The current month, current year I want to select. And in that, uh, today's date I want to select. So I'll simply select this, uh, you know, inspect this uh, today's date and here uh, what is there if i want to select today's date i can select like this okay this is a class i have to take uh, i'll say td control f i'll just uh, use a css selector or something td dot the class name you give and it will get located you see that uh, 28 what located under that anchor tag is there the space and a you give and anchor tag get located this css selector copy this CS, using CS selector, we are locating this, uh, you know, day 28, okay, today's date. Anyhow, class is today's, date picket today is there, means today's date only will be, it may be 28 tomorrow, it may be 29, whatever it is. So let's write down driver.find element, by dot, 
CSS selector, give the CSS selector and say dot click. That's it. And just for demo purpose, I'm adding this time dot sleep here. Let's give five seconds. And after that, I'll quit the browser. Driver dot pitch. Done. Now run the script. Right click run. It will open the Chrome browser and all those stuff. And finally, it will select the today's date, that is 28 March 2023, when I am recording this session. Click on the calendar. Once the page loads, right, it will click on the calendar icon and it need to select. Uh, but there is a problem coming. What is the problem? Let's see. Um, so the last line only, that is uh, line, this line, 21 line is uh, giving me a problem. Okay. Element click intercepts. Uh, okay, let me run it again this time. Okay, let me run it again. Uh, sometimes it happens because this website is kind of bit shaky. So it may happen. So let me run the script and uh, let's see what's going to happen. I'm running for a second time. Don't huddle the mouse or something. Okay, see what's going to happen. Let the page load first of all. Don't move yet. Okay. The problem is coming still. Okay. Okay. This time, let me run it again. Third time I'm running. Calendar is loading. Let's see. You see the date got selected. Okay. 28 March, 2023 got selected. Maybe this option is coming. Okay. That, uh, Add related option. This particular thing is coming, uh, doing some problem, it seems. Okay. So, so it's part of, uh, okay, fine. No problem. Let's not worry about that. Okay. Somehow it's coming. So if this is not coming right, this is working fine because I don't want to go out of the topic. So just I'm manually ignoring that and we are able to get this done. Okay. So hope guys you understood how to uh, handle or automate the calendar type six. Okay, so that's all for this session. See you in the next session. Thank you. Bye-bye.